One day of work and you're set for life. It sounds too good to be true, but remember, we're not talking just any old job. This is a coveted White House gig. High profile, high pressure. You should be highly compensated, right? To get answers, our Verify team reached out to the Office of Personnel Management. They handle retirement benefits for the federal government. So here's what we found out. If an employee leaves federal service before retiring, they can indeed receive retirement benefits only if they have put in at least five years of credible civilian service work like military service. And then check out this section called discontinued service retirement. It says let separation against the will and without employees consent translation getting fired. Federal workers are eligible for retirement benefits if they've given at least 20 years of service and are at least 50 years old. So no, it's not as easy as just working in the White House for any amount of time and then you get those lifetime retirement benefits. I love the president. I love the team. I'm a super optimistic guy. He was optimistic, but sorry, Scaramucci. Looks like your 10 days didn't get you a whole lot. And finally, take a look at this chart from OPM. In some cases, you must reach the minimum retirement age to receive retirement benefits. So if you'd like to learn more about what's considered credible civilian work that you, a federal worker, can count towards your time in the government, head over to our site, WSA9.com verify. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA9.